Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the NVIDIA Shield TV console and I wanted to test out some PS2 games. Now I've had several requests to do this. The reason I haven't done this earlier is because the performance is... Actually, we can say there is no performance. Because a lot of these games don't even start. Every single game I have on the screen here does not start. The best one that I've had luck with is actually one of my favorite PS2 games, which is Automotalista. And we're going to try that right now. I'm just going to show you. This is the latest dev build of Play, the PS2 emulator for Android. And we have blue coloring. Now it happens on this game, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't like this on PS2. I used to play this game all the time. Single race, Suzuka, doesn't matter about the music, and we're going to hop in a GC8, oh no, 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 I do not want Mitsubishi Subaru, and we'll go with the GC8, so real quick, last year I actually sold my 1998 two-door RS, and Every single day I wake up and I regret selling it. I really wish I never would have. I have nightmares about it, actually. So, this is pretty much as far as we get. We're going to hit Go Race. And I've literally let it sit on the blue screen that comes up next for two hours and nothing happened. So letting it load longer is really not going to help. Right here. Let it sit for two hours the other day and nothing ever happened. It's just stuck. It sucks, but the performance has increased, if you can call it an increase. I'm surprised that some of these games even start now. Shadow of the Colossus is going to be hard to run on a lot of emulators. Even on decent PCs with the PS2 emulator installed. It's kind of stuttery, you know. I got a PC. I can play it at 60 FPS, 1080p. But the NVIDIA Shield won't even launch it. Next up, I'm going to do Ratchet and Clank. And this is pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. Because nothing really starts. If you do know of a game that does work within this emulator... Let me know in the comments below and I'll give it a try, but as you can see here, even the Sony Computer Entertainment America Presents is at 2 FPS. I'm, I'm guesstimating about 2 FPS. So yeah, we get a really, really bad performance. Now, I don't know of a device that this emulator does run any games at a decent frame rate yet. In my opinion, the NVIDIA Shield TV is the most powerful Android TV, at least. And it trumps a lot of the phones out there, too. This is about as far as I get on this game. Get the Insomniac logo. When I was younger, I was ratchet and clank crazy. I remember I got this on Christmas, the release day, um, PS2. Had a couple games for it. But when ratchet and clank came out, I played every single one of them all the way through, and I love them. To this day, I love ratchet and clank. There's no performance yet. I would test these other games, but guys, it's not going to help. It's not going to be any better than any of these games. Ratchet and Clank going Commando. I can't, can't even get to the Insomniac logo. Shadow of the Colossus, I let it sit for about 30 minutes, and it didn't go anywhere. We'll go up to the settings. Go down to settings here, and there's not much to change. We can turn that off, but it doesn't help at all. I tried both settings. 
um, enable usage of two X size frame buffers for rendering, that's going to actually slow down the emulator. So it's hopefully in the future we can get some full speed emulation. I don't see it happening anytime soon though, the way this uh, emulator works right now. Unless there was some crazy breakthrough on the technology or the development end of this. But that's it for now, guys. Like always, thanks for watching.